Free My Project and uh, I just wanted to share something with you that um, has kind of been uh, emerging in my work and I've been um, utilizing it more and more and um, it's really powerful and uh, it's really working for me um, individually on myself and it's really working with me as a father with my six-year-old daughter and um, yeah I just wanted to share it it was it's I've been for the last 16 years the majority of what I do with my private practice clients is what I call reparenting um, what other people may call inner child work it's about helping people um, find those times in life when it was difficult and helping them look at the, the meaning they took from those situations because most commonly the meanings are I'm not okay or the world isn't okay or people won't meet my needs or I don't deserve love or these kind of things and so I help people resolve those ideas dissolve those limiting beliefs and rebuild lives of kind of more peace and power and purpose and so in that parenting process I'll be getting people to essentially parent themselves to connect with themselves as a loving parent and a while back my mum told me for her that she loves her kids but she's in love with her grandchildren and that is that would be consistent with what I've seen there's a different quality of love there she I mean she wants my daughter to do well at school and give herself as many options as possible but it doesn't matter it's her love is much more unconditional and and so when I've been doing reparenting work I've been inviting people instead of reaching out to themselves or their younger selves as a parent I've been asking them to do it as a loving grandparent like if you had a time machine and you could you know come back in time or, or go back in time or if you could connect with your future great 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 grandchild and you were given an afternoon with them and you could scoop them up when they were 7 or 12 or 18 or 88 but this is your great 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 grandchild one of your offspring you're their forebear I just bet you would just you would hope for them to be happy but your love for them would not be relevant on whether they were good or thin or well employed or earning good money or I just we just get so into thinking that we need to be different to be okay and I just wonder if you were a loving great grandparent to yourself in this next moment how could you be more gentle with yourself how could you be more accepting of where you're at right now and allow yourself to be inspired to be your best self but with a with a with a cheeky smile on your face and, and love in your heart directly from your greatest 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 grandparent because if they could speak to you that is what they would say so why wait